YouTube, this is Dragonheart and welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome to some Empire Total War Maratha Confederacy campaign. Now before I begin, a little shout out to one of my new, uh, well I shouldn't say new, he's got a new YouTube channel but he's one of my friends, um, Welshy Team Shock I think his name is, well it's Welshy TS but basically he just set up a new YouTube channel and he would really appreciate it if you go over to his channel, check out some of his content. He's going to be doing some uh, Call of Duty games, some sniping games. So go and check him out and tell him I said hi. So link will be in the description of course. But enough of that, back to this campaign. And I can't remember what part this is. I think it's part 18. I hope it is. I have a fair size, well I have half a stack here. Oh I can take them out easily. Right, I think we'll have a battle in this episode. I'm in the mood for a battle. And I think we can beat these. They have better infantry attack. If I can defeat this army here, then we're more or less on the home straight in this campaign. I think probably within a few episodes, a few parts of this campaign, we should be seeing the end and it shall be, it shall feel like a big accomplishment to finally get there. I've never completed a Total War campaign on YouTube. I am hoping to do some Swiss campaign after this, so get this one done and dusted, get the playlist updated, and then focus on the next uh, campaign. That's my plan anyway. So here we are, I have three cannons. We will group them up. Um, this battlefield looks to be there's a hill by there. The problem with these cannons is they are quite crap. We can't move them. I tell you what, we'll just start the battle straight away. My cannons are already in range. I'm going to take my chances. Oh, sugar, I forgot they got cannons as well. Okay, um, we don't want to be hitting those cannons. I'm just going to run some of these peasantry units forward because they are rubbish. I do have some gunners over here which I'm going to move towards the artillery while my cannons can bombard the enemy. Bring my peasantry bring them all up into this little group here. I do have some more camel gunners as well which I'm going to bring up to this path. So basically what I'm trying here camel gunners on the left flank my cannons are firing upon their cannons and we've actually taken one of the cannons out which is great. My camel gunners will lay some support in fire. This is their main line which we'll try and take out with my infantry shortly. Let's bring them forward slightly to here. Let's see what we got. Let's try to maneuver my men. Bring the peasantry units around. We will try flanking maneuver shortly. So they don't, the AI doesn't know what I'm doing at the moment. <laughs> They're running men all over the place. One of the things which is, does let Total War down sometimes is the AI. And they've only got one cannon left. This is brilliant. They will be useless in a moment. And I can bring my camel gunners around. I can actually do that now. Lay some fire on their camel gunners. I can take that unit out straight away. That would be great. Let's bring my main... Uh, Hindu musketeers forward and get my camel gunners to fire on their camel nomads. This unit's been taken out like I planned. My units of cannon can actually focus on the enemy now I think. All three can actually fire. Here we go, that's what I want. Suppress and fire on the enemy. They'll be taken out shortly. One cannon, 15 men. That shouldn't be a problem. Let's bring this line forward again. Let's bring him forward. Let's go about there, I'd say. Uh, right, these camel gunners can go up there. These two can push right up as well. Uh, now I have left then, like these. On the left flank, I want to push up as well. Lay some fire down for me. This is where I want my camel gunners. 
doing their job, they're wavering. Men are being taken out. Uh, we can speed this battle up slowly, uh, a little bit I should say. There we go, I'll do. I want these men all to fire now. They are mainly swordsmen, so I should be able to get a few shots away. At least that's what the plan is. Camel gunners again a few shots away as well. Which is great. And this battle should be coming to a close shortly. Doing pretty well. Camel no match in the distance. Under fire. That's fine by me. Actually all my cannons can focus on them if possible. Losing slightly there, winning slightly here. Switch to melee. Form square if possible. Switch to melee as well. Get these men to charge in. Let's just charge them completely. The artillery is gone. No need to worry about them anymore. Oops, come on. Get these men to support because I'm going to lose my camels on the right flank. The rest is holding out pretty well. And here we go. We've seems to have routed the centre. Let's get all these men back to firing. They're all routing. bring some men across to support. Lost my camels unfortunately. My cannons can focus on their artillery men, so ten of them, but it would be nice to take them out if possible. Don't want any of these forces to re-emerge on the map on the map, so I want them to be routed as best as quickly as possible. Getting some shots away. Doing our best to route the enemy. There we go, I think they're all routed now. And that should be the end of this battle. We hope. Here we are, end of battle. Heroic victory, apparently. But this victory will go a long way to helping us win this campaign for the Maratha Confederacy. There we go, we only lost 132, which is great. They've retreated back there to Bengal. My army. We could probably. No, we can take Bengal easily. With this army. And we have. Still got to take these guys over here. They have five units there. Two there. We have quite a few. We will end turn though. And we will see what happens in this end turn phase. But this campaign, as you can see, is starting to come to a close. Starting to spice up a bit as well. Hopefully, we can lay down an iron fist and take India for our own. The only tricky thing I can see is probably Mysore in the south. They have two provinces there themselves. They took the one province from Portugal. Therefore, Portugal were banished from India. So... I think they have full stacks as well, so it will give me, it will take me a few turns, there they are now on the map, it will take me a few turns to actually lay an assault on them, but that's okay, that doesn't bother me. So here we are, unit recruited, that's excellent. Um, let's focus on Bengal for the time being at least, we have fair size, well, so that's some units there. This army, I think, can push forward. Lay siege. Oh my god. They have so many mob units. Demand surrender. Surrender has been refused. Uh, I'm not going to assault them. I'm going to continue the siege. They've got a lot more men than I anticipated. Uh, these guys are exempt from tax. I, I've got no money to recruit anybody. We need to support these men as quickly as possible. So let's get some more men up there. Are they still... Still okay. Another unit. Cover, trying to cover myself, basically. I know that... 
And there we go, we'll build, just leave one unit here, even with tax off, they're quite happy. I'll keep the uh, exempt on for now though. But there we go, we've got a much stronger army now, in case they can't sally out and attack me. I can lay siege to them for the time being. Um, five units there, they have one here and four there, they're fairly formidable. I'm going to attack one of the units. And it doesn't actually look good, so we will retreat. Just trying to look around. And we'll stay there, I think. This is our nearest province. Do they like us in this province? They would if I exempt them. I can spare another unit, I think. Yeah, we can spare another unit easily. Keep my general there. And this province as well. I'm not exempt from tax. I haven't got much that I can spare. Just looking around at the moment, just double checking what I have everywhere. These are exempt as well. If I can take some of these off exempt, it'd be great. Especially in the north. I can afford to do it here. I'll keep it for another turn. Same here, just in case, because we don't know what's going to happen. Um, but I think I'll end the episode there. So we have taken Bengal. Oh, sorry, we've won the battle here, and we got a chance of taking Bengal. And hopefully, after that, we can take Hindustan, and that would be the end of the Mughal Empire. And we can then focus the final actions of this campaign on Goa and Mysore itself. I've been Dragonheart. Hope you've enjoyed this episode of the Maratha Confederacy campaign. Until next time, goodbye.